Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. How are you? Um, it's been quite a few months since I did my last Brother Locks hair video. I think the last one was the New Year's, in December. I decided that uh, I was only going to do another video once I reached a milestone. And I reached a milestone, guys. This is my three year anniversary with my locks. I just got a retighten a session done maybe like two days ago. It is now March 31st. And I have my retightening session probably the 28th. So it's a fresh retie, as you can see. And boy, oh boy, has my hair grown. I'm going to see if I can like stretch it. Also, I like my shirt, Sailor Moon. It says boys are the enemy, which is true. Yeah. My hair, guys, it's it's growing. It's growing. I've had so many issues with having the color situation, having breakage, having um, a lot of color damage to my hair, and having hair break off. And my hair is still recovering from last year's hair damage. But after a good conversation with my um, loptician, it's sort of like, you know, if it's going to break off, it's going to break off. Rather than I hair leave now so that my hair can grow back, you know, healthy, stronger, and I won't make the same mistakes twice. I'm not going to be coloring my hair coloring my hair anytime soon. I did a dark eggplant color. It's since faded out. It's fine. It doesn't bother me at all at this point. It, it's, it's fine. Uh, I also got a little shape up. For the sides and all that, you know, get into it, get into it, get into it. So, yeah, I don't know. I love my hair right now. I love the length that it is now, finally. You know, it took me a while to really get comfortable with the hair growing out and going through the quote-unquote awkward phase. But it ain't awkward anymore. I mean, I'm awkward, but my hair isn't. You know what I mean? Um... But yeah, this is a quick update. Three years, three years. I'm gonna put some photos up in this video so you can see what my hair looked like in 2018 when I first got my retightening, and then um, throughout the the years, and you know, I take a photo of my hair every month, and I document my hair progress and journey and growth. You know, so since March of 2018, I've taken um, one photo a month. I mean, I've taken more than one photo a month, but I have a photo album dedicated to my hair. Uh, my hair growth progress and it's so funny to see side by side photos of 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021 you know, so more, I know by I think my hair, I don't have a hair goal yet, I know people always talk about hashtag hair goals and hair inspiration and lock goals I, I want to see what my hair looks like you know, when it gets to my fifth year my fifth year anniversary so that would be 2023 Gosh, sounds like so long from now. But yeah, in two years, we my fifth, my fifth year. And I think by then I can see how that probably, you know, what the length is going to be. I kind of really just want it to hear if that, I don't think I want it any longer. The longer the hair, the longer the retire, the more money I'm going to spend. So I definitely don't want it to be too long. But um, this is what it looks like now, guys. Get into it, get into it. So um, yeah, as far as in what I'm using in my hair, I know the last video had all these products that were just, like, I should just take that video down because there was so much misinformation in there about me, like, moisturizing my hair and stuff like that. Um, I since knocked all those products out, you know. Only thing I do is I wash my hair every two weeks. I do, uh, once a month, I do a deep clarifying wash with a clarifying shampoo. And, and I'll put a little bit of um, a little bit of olive oil, honestly, I just like to sit to my scalp, you know, just to get my scalp kind of from being dry, and, and I, every day I just moisturize with water, you know what I mean, I don't put anything in my hair daily but water, so, you know, then that keeps it going, I didn't put any in it today, actually, I didn't think about it, <laughs> but it still feels moisturized, and it still doesn't feel dry, you know, you kind of play it as you, you know, Play it by ear and see how your hair's feeling. You don't have to put the same products in every day. You just want to make sure you put a, you know, you, you put what's needed for your hair and for your scalp. So, um, 
I'm not using a Sister Lock shampoo. I've ran out of that. So I'm just using um, a, this, this clarifying shampoo. I think I put it in the description of the last video. I think it's Mane and Tail. Mane and Tail um, clarifying shampoo. I use that. That's about it. I don't use any, I'm not using any conditioners, any leave-in conditioners. God, no. Big mistake. Just like, I don't even know what I was thinking, putting a leave-in conditioner. You know, because I think I was trying to repair the damage to my hair, but leave-in conditioners was not the tea at all for my hair, at least for me. So, anyway, I've kind of weathered that storm, and so we're just working with what we have now. So, that's my quick three-year anniversary. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Um, I would say like and subscribe, but I don't even have enough content on here for anyone to really subscribe to. But feel free to watch my older videos. Feel free to watch my hair journey since, you know, prior till now. Um, and I love to hear from you guys. I love to see other people's hair journeys. I love to see people Talking about the locks, just for locks, brother locks. Where am I? Where are my guys at? Where are my dudes? Where are my guys for brother locks? You know, um, come on, let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about it seriously. But um, but anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video, and um, you guys stay safe out there. Uh, I got my first shot a couple weeks ago. I'll get my second shot on Sunday. So doing my part to you know stop the spread of C19. So hope you guys are being safe and careful. And until next time, I'll see you. Stay cute.